What is the reason for the heaviness one feels when annulling before the Creator in the work? By Rabbi Yehuda Ashlag. We must know the reason for the heaviness felt when one wishes to work in annulling one's self before the Creator and to not care for one's own interest. One comes to a state as if the entire world stands still and he alone is now seemingly absent from this world and leaves his family and friends for the sake of annulling before the Creator. There is but a simple reason for this, called lack of faith. It means that one does not see before whom one nullifies, meaning he does not feel the existence of the Creator. This causes him heaviness. However, when one begins to feel the existence of the Creator, one's soul immediately yearns to be annulled and connected to the root, to be contained in it like a candle in a torch, without any mind and reason. However, this comes to one naturally, as a candle is annulled before a torch. It therefore follows that the essence of one's work is only to come to the sensation of the existence of the Creator, meaning to feel the existence of the Creator, that the whole earth is full of His glory. This will be one's entire work, meaning all the vigor that He puts into the work will be only to achieve that, and not for any other things. One should not be misled into having to acquire anything, Rather, there is only one thing a person needs, namely faith in the Creator. He should not think of anything, meaning that the only reward that he wants for his work should be to be rewarded with faith in the Creator. We must know that there is no difference between a small illumination and a great one, which a person attains. This is because there are no changes in the light. Rather, all the changes are in the vessels that receive the abundance. As it is written, I the Lord change not. Hence, if one can magnify one's vessels, to that extent he magnifies the luminescence. Yet the question is, with what can one magnify one's vessels? The answer is, in the extent to which he praises and gives thanks to the Creator for having brought one closer to him, so one would feel him a little and think of the importance of the thing, meaning that he was awarded some connection with the Creator. As is the measure of the importance that one pictures for oneself, so the measure of the luminescence grows in him. One must know that he will never come to know the true measure of the importance of the connection between man and the Creator because one cannot assess its true value. Instead, as much as one appreciates it, so he attains its merit and importance. There is a power in that, since thus one can be permanently imparted his luminescence.